two, three, much more. How about the brother's side? Do you have any here? Huh? My problem is that I don't, I'm not wearing the right glasses. <laughs> By the way, I don't really need glasses except to see. You got that, right? <laughs> Anyhow. So, for the benefit of the non-Muslims, or the benefit of those who are Muslim, but you don't know how to explain it to a non-Muslim, let's look at what Islam is. Is, is. is it possible to have Islamic terrorism? No. Is it possible to have Muslim extremists? No. Is it possible to have Muslim killers, murderers? No. Is it possible? You said no, but do you have a proof? The proof is in the Word. Is it possible to have a really hot, cold day? Is it possible to have a really dark, light night? These are opposites. If it's an opposite, then there's no way. You're wasting your time to say it. It's called oxymoron. And an oxymoron, it means you just gave two different words, the opposite meaning, in the same sentence. Like a hot ice cube. A hot ice cube will melt. It won't even be an ice cube anymore. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'll give you another one. Government intelligence. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen to the meaning of the word from the Arabic language. Sin lam mim. Silm. Everything that I'm going to tell you is based on this root. In English, you don't do that. In English, you have crazy stuff that comes from different things. You say school, pupil, teacher, classroom. All of these things are from different roots, different languages. In Arabic, you start with the same root, madrasa, mudaras. And you go through and you'll find that everything is related to this root, so that you know. And when you talk about a library, an office, a place where you keep books, library, office, and books, these words are not related. But in Arabic, Kitab, book, kutub, books. Maktaba, office or library. See how it works? Now, the root, siyum, is where all of this is coming from. There's a verb, one of the many verbs coming from this is aslama. Aslama, in English language, there's no translation unless you give a paragraph because it has too much meaning it is watch closely surrender uh, you got to help me with this one surrender so put your hands up are you deaf put your hands up all the way up now cross them like this You don't want to play the game? Put your hands up. <laughs> now you're ready for airport security. <laughs> so you, you, by, you gave up. Our brother gave a good example. He finally gave up. And that's part of sin. You have to give up. 
It's not you in control anymore. You're saying, okay, you take control of me. This sin, Aslama, total surrender to Allah, first word. But there's more in this word Aslama. Look at this. In English, surrender, submission, obedience. All of that is there. More. Also, sincerity. You voluntarily give up your own control over to Allah. Then, after sincerity, is safety and security. A big issue today in the world when people say, security, right? Airport, security. Police, security. We have to have security. Safety, safety first. Safety, security. These are all part of Islam. Because there's no salam without salama. There is no peace without safety. Nobody is going to be in safety and security without Allah's safety and security and protection. This makes sense. It's Allah's creation. He can prevent things from happening to you. Maybe an earthquake is going to swallow the whole city and if there's only one place left that didn't get swallowed, you're on it. Why? Allah didn't want it to happen to you. How about this? Can you imagine billions and billions of tons of water rushing by in a huge sea, the Red Sea, and you're going to walk right through it and water will not even touch your feet? Could that happen? It already did at the time of Musa, at least the children of Israel walked on dry land. I don't know if you know that. They walked on dry land across the Red Sea while the sea was parted back. And when Pharaoh went through with his army, Allah closed the water in on them. Is it easy for Allah? This is all part of the word Islam. Surrender, submission, obedience, sincerity safety and security and peace with Allah no matter what happens you'll be in peace with Allah now that's the word Islam so how could you have terrorist Islam if it's supposed to be safety security and peace that's the problem people not knowing how to translate this word Otherwise, the people in the news, in the media, they could never say it. They could not say a Muslim terrorist because Muslim comes from Islam. Islam is surrender, submission, obedience, sincerity, safety, security, and peace. And you put Mu in private to show you the one who's doing that. Muslim terrorist. It's a joke. It's upside down. Islamic terrorism. It's upside down. Does it work? How you come up with this stuff? Because Muslims didn't do their job. Two billion people on the earth and not even 50 out of the two billion willing to go out and stand up for la ilaha illallah and with the proper knowledge to explain it in the English language. That's how critical the issue is today.